Hello and welcome back guys in this part 2 uh, of Arham SPR's exam kit question number 18 to 16 right so in this particular question what we've been given is that so how should we account for this issue okay so sale of new oil right so it had planned to sell 80% of subsidiary of new oil the plan has been approved by the board reported in media that means constructive obligation is there it is expected that old castle and entity which owns 20 percent of that uh, of new world will acquire the 80 percent equity interest the sale is expected to be completed by december 20x8 new wall is expected to have a substantial trading losses in the period up to the sale the accountant of the farm wish to show new wall as assets held for sale as in the consolidated financial statement and to create a restructuring provision to include the expected cost of disposal and future trading losses right so the ceo does not wish new world to be disclosed as uh, held for subsidiary not to provide for the expected loss the ceo is concerned as whether that may affect the sales price and which would certainly mean bonus target would not be met ceo has argued that they have a duty to secure high sales price to maximize the return for shareholders of arm she has also implied that the accountant may lose his job if he were to put such a provision in the financial statement see the threat over here uh, the expected losses from the sale are future trading loss will be 30 legal cost will be 2 redundancy cost will be 5 right so this 2 will be our um, restructuring cost right so impairment of owned asset uh, the fair is an early termination penalty of included within the is a termination penalty of six million for the lease assets which is deemed to be deemed surplus to requirement okay so there is uh, termination penalty as well for six million for the lease asset right so let's talk about it so ifrs5 right Control B as per for IFRS five assets held for non current assets held for sale. Non current assets held for for sale and discontinued operation mm, for this um, outlines several criteria to be classified as held for sale and discontinued operation operation all right In this case, management is or management has shown commitment to the sale by approving the plan and reporting it to the media right a probable acquirer has been found 
sale is highly probable and is expected to be completed within next 12 months. new all would be treated as a disposal group because a single equity transaction is most likely form of disposal what is disposal group the group of assets that will be disposed in a single transaction right if new all is deemed to be a separate major line of business or major component of business business or geographical area geographical area of the group or losses of the group should be presented separately as a discontinued operation, right? As a discontinued operation within the consolidated statement of financial statements statements of um, not only in SOPL but in SOFP as well okay So assets held for sale are valued at the lower of carrying amount and the fair value less cost to sell carrying amount consists of the net assets and goodwill relating to new world best carrying on consists of goodwill and relating to new world at disposal less the non-controlling interest and controlling interest at disposal right that's how we calculate it
assets within the disposal group which are not inside the scope of IFRS 5 are adjusted or in accordance with relevant standard first what are we talking about the lease right this includes these assets the right of use assets deemed surplus to requirements will most likely be written off with a corresponding because see what has happened is that there is a trading loss included within that right so future trading loss is an early determination penalty of six million for the lease assets which is deemed surplus to requirement right so this will be written off okay with a corresponding expense recorded in profit or loss right any further impairment loss is first impairment loss recognized to reduce new all to fair value less cost to sell would be first allocated to goodwill and then on a pro rata basis across the other non-current assets of the group right okay so we need to talk about these other issues now we need to talk about the managing director mm. managing director right the chief operating officer is wrong to exclude any form of restructuring provision from the consolidated financial statements the disposal has been communicated to the media and there is a so a constructive obligation exists However, only direct cost attributed to restructuring at 
attribute table cost of the restructuring should be included and not ongoing costs of the business right the legal fee legal fees and redundancy cost should be provided for future operating losses should not be provided for because no obligation event has reason has arisen right and no provision for is required for the impairment of the owned assets as this would have been accounted for on remeasurement to fair value less cost to sell right impairment charge who will be who would have already been adjusted right so this is ongoing cost right anything else anything else early termination penalty of 6 million right for the leased assets if the early termination penalty is likely to be paid in the lease term has changed right because it has gone shorter IFRS 16 leases the lease liability should be remeasured and should now include the present value of the payment of the payment but should exclude any payments scheduled after it when the lease liability is remeasured Of corresponding at 
judgment is posted against the right of users. It's right that needs to be adjusted as well. The right of use assets. If the right of use assets has been written down to zero, an expense should instead be charged to profit or loss all right anything else no i don't think so so discuss the ethical issues arising or from the scenarios including any actions which faram and the accountant should take right okay the number ethics should be in bold Accountants have a duty to ensure that the financial statements are fair, transparent comply with all relevant standards right the accountant has made a mistake has made mistakes that would not be expected expected out of a professionally qualified accountant in particular Accountant appears unaware of which costs should be included within a restructuring provision. and has failed to recognize that there is no obligation event in relating to in relation to future losses losses right contents must carry out their work with due care and attention to detail
we must ensure that their knowledge is kept up to date and they do carry out their work how their work in accordance with the relevant ethical and professional standards failure to do so would be a breach of professional competence competence accountants the accountants must make sure that they address these issues to attending regular so it's suggestion for content okay through regular training and professional development courses there are number of instances which suggests that the chief operating officer is to manipulate the financial statement for their own benefit she is not willing to account for the impairment losses for the subsidence despite knowing that this is contrary to IFRS standards right she is also willing not willing unwilling to reduce profit of the group by properly applying IFRS 5 assets held for use non-current assets held for use for sale
has C. Because C is not. Creating, allowing to create provision, right? Restructuring provision. Provision. All of the adjustments. required to ensure the financial statement comply with IFRS and IS standards will reduce profit is true that the, because she is given this right this argument that she is only maximizing the return for shareholders right it is true that the directors do have a responsibility To run the book on behalf of their shareholders and try to maximize their return right. This must not be. detriment though of producing financial statements that are objective and faithfully represented right objective and faithfully represent the performance of the group right it is likely that the chief operating officer is motivated by bonus targets and is therefore trying to misrepresent the results of the group right the chief operating officer make sure that C is not unduly influenced by this self-interest threat self-interest threat PHRA threat to our objectivity right objectivity correct this mistake so many mistakes
and then the chief operating officer is also acting unethically by threatening to dismiss the content should they try to correct the financial statement statement is unclear whether the chief operating officer is a qualified content but the ethical standards or ethical principles should extend to all employees not just accountants not just qualified accountants threatening and intimidation behavior is unacceptable and against all ethical principles due to which the accountant now faces a ethical dilemma ethical dilemma because they have a duty to prepare financial statements which are objective and fair but to do so could mean loss of job right means uh, mean losing a job Accountant, so what should the accountant do? The accountant should approach the C chief operating officer, approach the chief operating officer, and remind them of the basic ethical principles and try to. Persuade him of the need to put the adjustments through the consolidated accounts, right? So that they are fair and objective. Objective.
the COO. Does not agree in the content may seek ACCA ethical helpline and take legal advice before undertaking any further action. So this is what basically the accountant should do okay so that's it pretty much guys uh, in this particular question we don't have anything else to say rather than this so that's it for today uh, if you have any questions until now please do comment down below i'll definitely answer it for you until next time bye bye